Niggas praying on my downfall. These niggas praying on my downfall. Straight up from the bleachers, but I'm a different creep. Your boy, real deal boxing talk, coming at you with another one. Oh man, Showtime is showing out again. We got a banger. Hey, did you buy the fight? I'm telling you right now, y'all better buy this fight. Don't miss the fight this week, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be fire. We got Jamal Charlo coming in, WBC champ, 30 and 0, middleweight champ, 22 KOs, solid fighter. What can I say about him, man? He's fast, quick hands, tough, tough. He's a longer fighter. Uh, and he's and he's and you know, think about the Charlo, Charlo brothers, but we'll just say Jamal Charlo, because this is who we're talking about right now. You gotta outwill these guys. So you, you can't come in with the I'm finna do this and do that. You gotta outwork these guys and outwill these guys. They wanna be the best. After the last two, three years, they've been hollering, they want the best shots. People been avoiding them. They want the best fights. These guys are solid. And in this fight, uh, Jamal is longer. So I'm, I'm expecting him to come out the first couple of rounds, uh, put the jab in uh, Dervinchenko's face, right? Uh, start getting his power shots off maybe the third or fourth round. He might test him early, but third or fourth round, I believe he'll start setting his feet because he likes to set his feet and get those power shots off. But he's so athletic that he can move around with the power shots, uh, good feet work. Like I said, he can come in. I, I, I think, honestly, he could outbox, outbox him or he could just he could just bang. But don't get it twisted. Don't give it, don't get it twisted. Dervin, solid fighter, solid fighter. He fought Triple G. Lost unanimous unanimous decision, but it was a good fight though. It was a good fight. If you saw the fight, you know it was a good fight. And he also fought Daniel Jacobs. Uh, Daniel Jacobs won split decision, but he's been in there. He's he's had title. Uh, he's been in there in, in, in that environment. He's had title shots, so he knows what to do. But don't get it twisted. Dervinchenko, right? He comes in. He lets his hands go. He probably started out slow. I, I believe the first two three rounds, he'll probably feel or Jamal out. He'll start out slow, but after the third or fourth round, maybe like the fourth round, he's going to start coming forward because he, he, he'll he take a shot to give a shot. He's going to let his hands go, but he also works the angles. So I'm not saying he's the best fighter in the world, but he's going to work the angles, and he's a tough guy. He's, he's tough, though. See, that's the thing about this fight, and I think he's going to um, definitely test Jamal. Jamal's going to have to come in. It's going to be a point in time where Jamal going to have to fight, and I think uh, Dermachenko is going to have to get inside and – and, uh, Walk Jamal down, get him on the ropes, and just let his hands go. Use the angles. At no point in time, no, I don't believe uh, Dervinchenko will or will be able to outbox Jamal Charlo. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. So I think he's going to try to get inside. His best bet, Dervinchenko's best bet is to get inside, let his hands go, and outwork. His power isn't that great. So if anything, and if, if I know anything, I know they're gonna come in with a game plan. So I'm assuming the game plan is gonna be outwork J Jamal. He's gonna outwork Jamal. So he's gonna come in, let his hands go, and just try to win round for round, try to stay inside. If he stays on the outside, Jamal's gonna eat him up. He's longer, let that jab go, hit them power shots, and he'll be there all day. So like I said, but Devonchenko knows how to use angles, but he lets his hands go. He has a high work rate. See, that's the key. So I'm not sure if J Jamal's gonna be ready for that. I'm going I'm to take this fight. I'm saying it's a 60-40, right? 60-40 fight. That's what I'm thinking. And I, and I think uh, Jamal should win this fight. I think this is probably going to be his toughest fight. I'm excited to see this fight. Jamal wants to be the best. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to leave it up to the judges. Uh, Dermachenko, he wants to be the best. He already had two title fights. He's been in there with the best. So I think he's gonna push forward. I think he's gonna give it his give it his all. I'm only, only I'm concerned about it is Dermachenko if he if he goes too hard and maybe maybe he's going so hard and he's reckless and uh, uh, Jamal catches him coming in or maybe coming out. That's my only thing. But I believe Jamal's team is you know they, they they're well aware that he's already had two title shots. This is his third title shot. He's ready to go. He wants to win. He's gonna try to will himself to win. He's gonna let his hands go. Dermachenko is going to give everything he has to win this fight. And I think it's going to be a real, real tough fight. I think I think so. But I think Jamal, Jamal sh should edge it out. It could be a 12-round split decision. Um, but if Jamal catches him, Jamal knows how to get him out of there. And he'll he'll get Dermachenko out of there. But Dermachenko is pretty hard to, uh, to get out of there. He's a solid fighter, solid chin. Like I said, he comes forward, lets his hands go. He's just a tough guy. You know what I mean? So like I said, I think for... 
Jamal to win. He's gonna throw that jab out there, right? Throw the jab out there, uh, land some power shots, and eventually uh, wear down Dem Demichenko, Demichenko, right? But I think Demichenko is gonna come forward with that high work rate and he's gonna test Jamal and we're gonna see what happens. And it, basically I think it's just gonna be, uh, who, who really wants it, the will. That's all it's gonna be. I think it's just gonna be the will. Who really wants it, right, at the end of the day. Um, but it's your boy, Real Deal Boxing Talk. I just wanted to throw this quick video up. And like I said, I got Jamal. You see, if it goes 12, I believe he'll win a split decision. But I think if he catches Dermachenko early, he can get him out of there. But like I said, to get him out of there, you got to catch him, hit him solid. And Dermachenko has a solid chin. And he comes forward. I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be a tough fight. It could be ugly. That's why I'm giving it, like I said, 60-40. Anything could happen. Dermachenko could catch Jamal coming in. Anything could happen, man. But I, I just know, I just know they're gonna be throwing hands, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a real good fight. This your boy, real deal boxing talk. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think, man. But this this gonna be a, a good fight. I'm telling you right now. Don't miss it. You better buy it.